Meat Boy is back and we are making French dip. Oddly enough, I was craving this three, four weeks ago and I made a lazy version of it. But I remember when I was a teenager and I would go to the diner, this was my favorite thing to eat. And for anyone unfamiliar, it's basically a Philly cheesesteak that you dip in jus, like beef broth, except you know, it's made with higher quality ingredients. And that lazy version I made, you know, a couple weeks ago was basically steak put on some bread dipped in beef broth. But we're going to elevate that today, enforce the flavors, and it's still pretty simple, pretty minimal ingredient. Certainly something your kids would love and a great way to add some animal protein to their diet. Let's go over the ingredients. So on the right here, I have the ingredients for the sandwich and you could kind of see why I said Philly cheesesteak. You have steak, cheese, and bread and some butter, you know, to, to grill the bread. And we're also going to use the butter to sear the steak and also brown off some meat because we're not just using beef broth. We want to enforce the flavor of the beef broth with flavorings, aromatics, onion, garlic, pepper, thyme. You can add a couple other aromatics if you like anything in particular, but what's going to take this to the next level is <laughs> this huge chunk of meat that I have that's extra. And you could use any extra trimmings you have. This is like, you know, 15 pounds of uh, chuck stew meat that I don't know what to do with. So we're going to brown this up, put it in the broth in an Instant Pot, and this is what's going to make it really special give it a ton of beef flavor. So let's get started with browning that meat. Just a bit of butter in the pan. And we're gonna go in with our stew meat. So the most important thing here is that you don't overcrowd the pan. Otherwise, this is just gonna take forever. You're better off doing two or three smaller batches or getting some more pots on the stove and browning the meat that way. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put another pot over here. Now this is also one of the first steps to making beef broth. So, you know, you would caramelize the meat, caramelize the vegetables, boil it for you know eight ten hours in this case we're just reinforcing the store-bought beef broth which is a lot less time consuming so we have our beef nice and caramelized and as you can see there's a lot of that caramelization stuck to the pan so we're going to deglaze both of these with some beef broth we'll scrape up all that stuff from the bottom of the pan now if you didn't have an instant pot you would just take all of this juice, drippings, meat, put it in a pot, fill the pot with broth or water, the aromatics, and let that simmer for a couple hours for this French dip recipe. And that's what most people do. Most people don't use an Instant Pot, but we can extract a lot more flavor in a shorter period of time with a pressure cooker. So we got one pan. Now I can fit quite a bit of meat in here. <laughs> I don't know where my mind is today, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna do another batch of that and I'll see you guys when it's ready. So we have plenty of caramelized meat in here, also a decent amount of broth and butter already. Extremely flavorful before even cooking. I like adding some raw meat to increase the B vitamin content. So when this cooks in here, it's gonna release a lot of protein, a lot of juices. And you're basically gonna be drinking liquid protein with this jus. Now we toss in our aromatics. So I just cleaned up the onion and garlic, maybe a tablespoon of thyme, tablespoon of black peppercorns. And then we're gonna to top this off with our store-bought beef broth. Now I'm gonna put this on meat more high pressure and I would say this is gonna take an hour and 15 minutes until it's ready. So 15 minutes for this to get ready, 45 minutes to cook, and then another 15 minutes for it to cool off enough that we can open it up and take out the jus. In the meantime, we can just sear off the steak. Here I have some nicely portioned 12 ounce skirt steaks from Frankie's Free Range Meat. So while that pan's getting nice and hot, we're just gonna season both sides of the skirt steak. A bit of salt and pepper. So this is a steel pan, so the meat tends to stick. So just by doing this a little bit, you know, getting the fat covered on the steak is a good way to prevent that from happening. So you could really use any steak you'd like here. 
top round is the traditional cut, but you need a deli slicer to get it really thin. You could use ribeye as well. Now for that quick ghetto version, you'd basically take the steaks out of the pan, put some beef broth in here, you know, boil that for a few minutes and then just dip the sandwich in the broth, which is still pretty tasty. So steaks are done, add some more butter, and we'll toast our bread. Now this bread alone sourdough is the only real decent bread I have access to. You know, if I was as crazy as I say I am, I would make, you know, an organic French baguette from scratch, but we are definitely not doing that today. And if you're worried about this getting too soggy in here, I would just brush a little bit of butter on it and then put it in the oven on broil for a few minutes. All right, so our bread's a little toasty in our beef butter, basically. And we got a lot of flavor here, so. We wanna deglaze this as well. See all that brown coming up? Now, since this didn't start yet, we can actually just add it now. So everything's pretty much ready. I'm just waiting on the jus. All I have to do is grate the Gruyere cheese, slice up the steak, and then we're good. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and I'll see you guys in about an hour. So our jus is all done. We're just gonna strain it out. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. And so now we're gonna slice up one of our skirt steaks. I'm gonna dip each piece of steak into the jus and then put it on the bread. Now I'm gonna take the Gruyere cheese, put some on the bread side some on the steak side. We're gonna boil this in the oven for a minute or two until the cheese melts. It's 4 a.m., so my taste tester is not available. And I guess we'll see if this reminds me of the French dip from the diner. I mean, the bread's already soaked in butter and some of the juice, but the main part of a French dip is actually dipping the sandwich into the jus you made. This is so good. It's a grilled cheese with steak and beef broth. And if you are carnivore, you know, just make the broth and dip your steak in it, it's delicious. Yeah, even just the broth on its own is so flavorful and you honestly couldn't add more beef flavor to this broth. You could add some more aromatics, maybe some more vegetables, some more onion, but overall, very delicious, very enjoyable. I could probably eat like three of those sandwiches, but uh, definitely not at four in the morning. So thank you guys for joining me today. Definitely let me know if you're gonna try this recipe and if you enjoy my creative ideas to get high quality animal-based foods into your diet, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow.